morning to you family of God we want to greet you this morning in the lovely and precious name of Jesus won't you turn your bibles to Ephesians 2 verse 4 and as Paul was preaching to the church in Ephesus verse 4 says but because of his great love for us God who is rich in mercy made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions it is by grace you have been saved and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realm in Christ Jesus in order that in coming of ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness to us in Jesus Christ for it is by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not from yourselves it is the gift of God not by works so that no one can boast for we are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works for which God prepared in advance for us to do. This morning we want to pray and worship our Lord this morning. We want to thank God for His mighty word and in this time of great fear I want to tell you this morning that there's hope in Jesus. We miss church but shortly church will open. We're going to declare that this morning that in due course we will be back in this building to worship and praise our God. And this morning we want to pray for the continuation of our service. We want to ask you to close your eyes even as you bow your heads in prayer. Almighty God and Eternal Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for this beautiful day you created. We thank you for your peace. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your sovereignty, Lord Jesus. For you are a God of mercy and you are a God of grace. And mostly, Lord, you are a God of love. And this morning, Lord, although we are not here in this building, we are connected by your spirit. We are connected in our hearts. And we know, Lord, that in due course, we will come into this tabernacle and worship you. As your word says that we will gather with your saints. And we want to commit our service into your hands. Your precious word, our praise and worship. And Lord, we want to thank you and say that we love you and we appreciate you. In Jesus' mighty name. This morning, I'm going to ask you to join me even as we get into a time of praise and worship. I pray that you'll be blessed this morning. Thank you. Good morning, family of God. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome to our Sunday morning service. And even as we praise and worship, we invite you just to sing and worship with us. And we truly hope that you will be blessed as we glorify our Father in heaven. Amen.
Father. Lord, we give your heart to you, Lord Jesus. We magnify your name. We magnify and praise your name, O oh Lord. We magnify and praise your name, O oh Lord. Your holy God. Your holy God. We reverence your presence, O oh Father. Reverence your mighty presence in this place, Lord Jesus. Spirit, have your way right now. We cancel every fear, Father in heaven. Every anxiety, Lord, we cancel it in Jesus' name. We declare your power, Lord. We declare your healing, O oh Lord Jesus. We declare deliverance in your name, Father. Bless your word into our hearts, mighty God. And bless your servant for the evening as bring forth your word. May it find an abiding place in our hearts this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Good morning, everybody. We are so glad to be back on this beautiful Lord's Day morning. And we want to greet you and welcome you in the lovely name of Jesus. But before we get into the word, we want to thank God for Mother Sam Nika on Friday. She celebrated a 94th birthday. All praises and honor and glory to the Lord. Yesterday was Elvin's mother's birthday, Lily Reddy. She celebrated a 77th birthday birthday and also today is a very special day it is Oliver and Soana's sixth wedding anniversary may God bless every one of you let's bow for prayers we'll pray with them and pray for the word loving God and Heavenly Father what a joyful occasion when people can celebrate their birthdays and anniversaries we thank you for mother Sam we thank you Lord for a long standing member in Shekinah temple bless her with uncommon favor give a good health and strength we thank you Lord for Elvin's mother Lily Reddy also bless her we want to thank you again for long life bless both of them undertake for them in a very special way and may the grace of God rest upon them we thank you for Oliver and Swerna we want to thank you for six years of marriage continue Lord to bless them undertake for them in a very special way and draw them nigh unto thee we also want to thank you for your precious word this morning we are looking to you we are trusting in you we are believing in you for the move of your spirit the move of your power the move of your anointing give us an open heaven manifesting your glory even in a supernatural and in a powerful way we want to thank you again that you are here in our midst and we just worship you because we ask it in Jesus name with much praise and thanksgiving in our hearts amen I want to turn your attention this morning to God's Word that's found for us in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, and I'll read the first three verses. Moreover, the Word of the Lord came to Jeremiah a second time while he was still shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Thus says the Lord who made it, the Lord who formed it to establish it, the Lord is his name. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Verse 4 meditation is verse 3. Call to me and I will answer you. I'd like to entitle my message this beautiful morning. We have an open invitation to the Lord. I want to share with you three points this morning and then we'll come to a close. Point number one, the president of our country, President Cyril Ramaphosa, as a South African citizen, if you want to meet with the president, 
certain protocols has to be met you will have to send an email to his personal assistant stating why you want to meet with him you need to submit your name and some of the details of yourself perhaps you would have to go through a security check if you try to even get the president's cell number they will not give it to you they will perhaps acknowledge receipt of your email finally they will refer you to someone of a lower rank i want to say this is a very long process at the end of it all months will even pass by and unfortunately you will not be able to meet with the president point number 2 the chief of the south african national defense force general soli shoke if you are a uniform member of the south african national defense force and you want to meet with the general one has to go through the divisional system in other words to his divisional officer to the officer commanding okay listen to cut the long story short you will not be able to meet with the general they will probably refer you to someone of a lower rank who will be able to assist you let me say it is difficult to meet with man and sometimes it is even impossible even if you want to invite a world renowned speaker to your church like dr t g jakes or dr cliff low dollar you will have to wait for a period of between 2 to 3 years before they come to your church point number 3 this morning you have an open invitation to the lord sir in the old testament you had to go via a priest to get through to god when jesus died on the cruel cross he abolished all sacrificial systems and our bible tells us in matthew 27 and verse 51 and behold the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom now dear friend you can go directly to the lord you don't have to go via a person you don't have to go via any system you can go from the outer outer court to the inner court and into the holy of the holies and you can talk to your heavenly father and that is why his word says in jeremiah 33 call to me and i will answer you we serve a loving god a god that is here in our midst a god that you can call upon him and he will hear you he has eyes and he can see ears and he can hear hands and he can feel and this morning i want you as you are listening to this word to feel the powerful presence of an all mighty and an all powerful god this god that we serve answers by fire this god is a powerful god you can call upon him at any time at any place and he's ever so willing to hear and answer your prayer perhaps you remember the story in the book of first kings chapter 18 when elijah challenged the 450 prophets of baal he said to them the god that answers by fire will be god 
Let's go to verse 36 of First Kings chapter 18. And it shall come to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel, let it be known this day to you are a God in Israel and I am your servant and that I have done all these things at your word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that you are Lord, God, and that you have turned their hearts back to you again. Verse 38, Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood, the stones, the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench. Now when the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, He is God. The Lord, He is God. This God that we serve, you can call upon Him at any time, any need, any situation. And He'll be ever so willing to hear and answer your prayer. This God that we serve, He answers in prison by prayer and by singing. My Bible tells me in Acts 16 and verse 25, we see that Paul and Silas was thrown into prison. And in verse 25, it says, But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. Then suddenly a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were open, and everyone's chains were loosed. We see here, just by praying and praising and worshipping God, the presence of God, the power of God, the anointing of God came into prison and shook the foundation of the prison. And the Bible says there was such a powerful anointing that everyone's chains were loosed and all the prisoners were set free. This God that we serve, He can do anything. He's a God of might. He's a God of power. He's a God of miracles. And He is a God of the impossible. This God that we serve can even calm the storm. Let's go to Mark's Gospel, chapter 4, verse 35. On the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was, and other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat on the boat, so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern asleep on a pillow, and they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he arose and rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Beloved, this morning, as you are listening to me, there is a storm in the world. And almost every country is experiencing the storm. It is called COVID-19. There are already 640,000 deaths. They say it is going to reach over a million deaths. Let me say somebody that's listening to me today. You don't have to wait for the president. You don't have to wait for the general. You don't have to wait for the World Health Organization. He said in his word in Jeremiah triple three, call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer you. As a church, the people that are listening to me throughout the world, the church has to get back to prayer. Prayer is having a relationship with God. 
prayer is having intimacy with God. And the Bible clearly tells us in 2 Chronicles 7 and verse 14, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and heal their land. We need a miracle in the world. We need a miracle in South Africa. And we want the churches to unite together so that we can pray and seek the face of God. Beloved, we are not restricted to go to our maker and our creator. We have an open invitation and we can go directly to the Lord. And this is what we are going to do this morning. And in every family, in every home, I want you to pray and really seek the face of God so that God deliver us of our pandemic and set us free. Let us now bow for prayer. Loving God and Heavenly Father, we bow today through Jesus Christ our Lord. We know for sure that we can be restricted by man. But we want to thank you again that the veil uh, was torn in two from top to bottom. And therefore, we can go directly to our heavenly Father. And your word is saying unto us this morning, Call upon me and I will answer you. I pray for all your people. You would touch them and you would minister unto them. Especially, Lord, for the crisis that we are in with COVID-19 and Lord over 640,000 deaths. We are asking today as we humble ourselves before you, you would have mercy and compassion. You would touch our land. You would touch the world. You would heal us of this virus so that your name will be honored and glorified if this is the work of the enemy. Your word says whatever we bind here on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever we loose here on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So Lord, we are claiming healing. We are claiming deliverance. We are claiming victory in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ our Lord with much praise and thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless every one of you.